guys, it's Lori. Um, thanks for tuning in today. I'm going to show you guys a few different ways that I organize my jewelry here at home. I don't know about you guys, but I always feel like I can buy jewelry, you know? It's the one thing that never changes no matter if it's the holidays and if I'm a little bit heavier than what I am normally during the summertime. Jewelry is something that always fits. And um, stay tuned. So I'm going to show you some of my little tips and secrets right here behind me is an old newspaper stamp. I actually got it at an antique store and if you look really closely you can see these little bitty silver rings. You can find them in the jewelry department in like Michael's or Joann's. I just simply glued them on with a hot glue gun and it's a really good place to place your jewelry. Um, earrings, sometimes if the earrings are really long, um, I just let them dangle off the bottom of it. I'm perfectly fine with that. And then down here in the bottom, I added some extra hooks just for some long necklaces that do not fit in my jewelry box. All right, guys. So I wanted to get up a little bit closer for you so you could take a look at exactly how this was done. And if you look closely, here is the little round item that I picked up a Joann's and if you look closely you can see the little bitty dot of glue right there and I love having my earrings displayed like this because it's super easy to see them all and you can easily select which one's going to go the best with your outfit. This is my jewelry corner or at least that's what I tell my husband it is. Behind me you'll see this is where I keep a lot of my long necklaces at. The thing that they're on is actually, I believe, made for like a laundry room. I found mine at a yard sale just for a couple dollars. And I love displaying my jewelry like this. Again, it's out, so it's very easy to see. You know, the only downside to it is sometimes, you know, this costume jewelry, it does start to turn colors a little bit. So my really nice stuff I actually keep inside the drawers. I guess I should say my nice costume jewelry. <laughs> so we'll get to that in a minute. This right here is actually a platter server for your, um, for your kitchen, and I found it at Goodwill. And this is where I keep a lot of my silver jewelry at. It's nice just to have it on here. I feel like when you have a lot of jewelry, if you don't have it out displayed like this, sometimes you forget about the jewelry that you own. So just pick any sort of server. You know, just because it's made for food doesn't mean that you can't put jewelry on it. And I love this idea. I just keep it right here on top of my standing jewelry box. This is the inside of my dresser drawer. Um, it was just lined with velvet, but then I went and got these little clear um, boxes at Bed Bath & Beyond. This is where I keep a lot of my costume jewelry that I actually wear. I am a sucker for vintage jewelry. So for instance, like this necklace, this is an old necklace, but this is something that I wear all the time. So I do keep it in here where it is a little bit more protected. This is also where I would store necklaces like these owl necklaces, because if you do leave them out, they are going to tarnish. So any jewelry that you have that is like this, you definitely want to put it someplace where the air is not going to tarnish it. And then this is also where I keep my super fab vintage glasses. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's move on uh, to the next drawer. Okay, so in this drawer, which is right next to the other one that I showed you, is my jewelry that I wear every day. You can see right over here, this is where I have all my watches. I have my origami owl necklace. Um, this is a little picture of my older sister. I just love it. I keep it. Um, right here is a lot of my premier jewelry. This is really nice jewelry. However, you have to keep it in the bags that they give you. Um, otherwise, they're going to tarnish. And then over here is where I keep a lot of my Tiffany's jewelry. But again, as you can tell from the cloth underneath of there, you have to clean this all the time because it does tarnish. Um, back here in this little glass box, this is where I keep all of my bracelets that are so in right now. I find that it's easier just to keep them all in this bowl. That way I can just pick them up and match them with my outfit, um, whatever I'm wearing that day. So it's handy to keep those right in there. And then back here are all of my necklaces that, that I wear all the time. So this is my jewelry that I wear um, a lot during the so week. So let me show you what is underneath of here. 
Um, this is actually built into the furniture that we have in our house that we got from Ashley Furniture. It actually just lifts up and underneath of there, voila, bracelet heaven. Um, I had a hard time trying to decide where to store a lot of my bracelets. Again, remember, all the silver ones are over there on that platter. But these are all the, the fun and funky ones that... Um, you know, it's just nice to have them all in one big drawer. Here's one with a tag on it still. Um, but I love having them all in here. They're just easy to access and they're kind of hidden away as well because this drawer is a little messy, but we can just put this right back on top of there and then we only have to look at it when we want to. Okay, so I think everybody should have one of these standing jewelry boxes. I mean, it just holds so much stuff. Just to give you an idea, um, this is where I keep come up some of my costume necklaces. These were the ones that we were talking about earlier where they're costume, but you want to keep them out of the way because the air is going to turn them colors. I have um, more necklaces and more goodies kind of organized in this drawer here. A lot of shell necklaces that I don't want to keep out. And then these top two drawers right here are um, where I have a lot of my small earrings and such. It's just nice and handy to keep everything completely organized. Whoa, there is a lot of stuff in that drawer. Um, okay, let me put this back. You can see this is my vintage jewelry box that I have here. I'm just going to move out a little bit so you can see what all goes in it. And this actually stays out all the time. I actually keep it on top of my dresser. And um, this is something that I've been collecting for quite a while and probably one of the my favorite things in my house. Okay, so this little cute thing right here I wanted to show you. It hold your, your jewelry and I actually leave it out to display. This is actually odd and in jewelry that I got for a couple dollars a bag. As you can tell, not much of it even matches, but I just love the way that it looks and it is a really nice way just to display some beautiful pieces on top of your dresser like I did here. So when my husband and I got married, we had a very vintage wedding. This white purse you see back here was the purse that I actually carried on my wedding day. And I went the whole year before we got married and went around and collected these beautiful brooches. And I just wanted to share this little tidbit with you.